Well, now in this video, we will try to understand what is the shortcut I'm talking about, which uses K concept as well, but the question will be solved almost instantly without doing so much hard work that we did in the K concept. But you have to understand it properly. This shortcut, in this shortcut, you have to write things in one way. For example, what should I write? Something by something. This is something will be on the numerator part and something will be in the denominator part into a number. So there are three elements. Something you have to write on the top, something on the denominator part and a number here. And if you calculate this, your answer will come. For example, what should be written in the numerator part, what should be written in the denominator part and what is this number? We will talk about in this example which we solved few minutes ago in the last video. Now let's have a look. The question that we solved in the last video was this. The ratio of incomes of A, B, C, D is 3 is to 5 is to 2 is to 9. The sum of incomes of B and C is 21,000. Find the difference between the income of A and D. What is the most uh, important thing in, in using this kind of shortcut is that you should very clearly know what should be written in the numerator part, what should be written in the denominator part and what number should be written here. If you closely look into this question, how the question is framed and the first part they give some information about ratio. For example, the ratio of incomes of A, B, C, D is 3 is to 5 is to 2 is to 9. This is the information about ratio. In the next sentence they give another information which will be useful to solve the question. For example, First they gave ratio, then in the next part they said that the, the sum of the incomes of B and C is 21,000. This is another extra information. This is the second part of the question. And in the third part, which is the last part here, they ask a question. So information about ratio here, additional information here and a question. So these are the three parts which have to be fit here, which are to be fit in this case numerator part, denominator part and a number. What should be placed where? Now we will see. On the numerator part, you will write the ratio part of the question. What do I mean? The ratio part of the question means whatever, uh, whatever is asked in the question, just have a look here. Find the difference between the income of A and D. A, A was 3 and B, D was 9, A and D and in the question it is asking to find the difference between A and D and you will write the ratio part of what is asked in the question. In the question it was asked find the difference between A and D. So go to go and have a look at this ratio and find what is asked. The question which is asking is find the difference between A and D. So you will write the difference of A and D. This is 9 minus 3, which is 6. It means that numerator part is for writing what is asked in the question. Whatever is asked in the question, you will write the ratio part of that question. Here it was asking you find the difference between A and D. So I went to the ratio part and wrote the ratio part of what is asked in the question. That is the difference between A and D. This is the ratio part of the question. And here what should be written in the denominator part whatever information is given in the question write the ratio part of that information in the in the extra information it was said if the sum of incomes of b and c the sum of income of b and c is 21000 the sum of income of b and c it is the extra information whose ratio part is to be written here the sum of income of b and c is 5 to the sum is 7. The, the, the sum of incomes of B and C, the ratio part is 5 to so 7. I am writing here 7 and here the number which is given in the question, it is called 21,000. So I am writing here 21,000. So here I directly cancel it. So this becomes 18,000. In the last question, our answer after doing so much of hard work, our answer was found out to be 18,000 but in this case I will just have to write 6 by 7 into 20 into 21,000 
which will be directly 18,000. Just, just this much has to be written in this shortcut part. We will try to see the same, it's the same concept of shortcut to K concept in the next video as well by solving another question.